All right, this is my second follow-up video on the Cobalt 40 Max lawnmower. We've had this for about two and a half or three months now. It's running very well. We have no problems with it. Uh, I just wanted to run through a couple things, show you the space I was able to mow today. As far as, uh, I have no idea what to tell you square footage wise, but I'll just walk around the area we mowed. And I just wanted to make note, these batteries, extremely warm. I mean, they're not too hot to handle, but they're very warm after running this thing for maybe an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Quite warm. Real easy to deal with, but they get quite warm. I had a viewer comment and the viewer was concerned about whether or not grass is getting up inside the mower. They, these are open ports here and I'm not sure if it's going to come out or not, but you may be able to see, you can see the coil. You can see the copper coil inside there. There is a very small amount of grass dust getting up inside there. I don't know what the net effect of that is going to be over time. I don't see an easy way to clean it out either other than maybe, you know, a sharpened toothbrush or something like that. I'm not sure if that's even a good idea to mess with that. So I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to keep it natural and we'll, and we'll let time tell what happens with that. Um, Another thing I wanted to point out is cleanup on this is pretty easy. Since this is a plastic um, body, you can kind of see the grass just comes right out of there. It doesn't stick very hard at all in any part of this. I'm able to go in there just and, and pull it out by hand or just with a little bit of a, a screwdriver or something loosen it and it falls right out. So no major problems with grass buildup. Uh, there is some buildup underneath this unit, this, this wobbly thing here is the the plug that you pull out to go from mulch mode to bagging mode. Uh, there's a little bit of grass buildup around that, but again, it comes out really easy. You pop that out and, and it cleans up really nice. And so I'm just gonna show you how much I've been able to mow today on about, on about an hour and 15 minute charge. I'm gonna start out with the front lawn and I'm just gonna back away so you can see perspective compared to the size of the mower. So we mowed this entire front section. I was also able to mow this section of the backyard. I did not finish the whole backyard because I did some trim work. So all of what I just scanned over, I was able to mow the vast majority of that. So in addition to that section I just showed you, I was able to mow around the edges, trim the edge all the way around the grass for finishing up later when the batteries recharge. I also mowed this section. Of the yard. This area around the garden gets very long. I only mow this every month or so. So I really stress the motor a lot today. Some of the GoPro footage in this video is from mowing in this area. It gets very long. The grass was about that long when I when I mowed this area so you can it cut right through that without a problem the, the motor does bog down a bit when you're hammering on it like that but it worked well I was also able to trim around the entire side of this unwatered section of field grass we have this is all buffalo grass I mowed the entire trim section of that around the entire third of an acre. So I did put a lot of stress on this today. Battery lasted about an hour and a half. Uh, cut right through the big tall grass. 
without complaining too much. Again, it does bog down a little bit on that big stuff, but you can kind of see an example here again of the uh, torture I put it through like I did in my one month update video. That's the last time I mowed this. So about probably a good solid month ago is the last time I mowed this stuff down. I mentioned before the batteries get quite warm. What I do with these before I plug them into charge, I leave them sit for about usually 45 minutes to an hour to cool completely down before I plug them into the charger. That's all superstition. I don't have a good reason for doing that. It just seems like good sense to me not to plug a hot battery into the charger. Using this thing's a lot like, it reminds me of when I was a kid. You have the little plastic lawnmower, the toy lawnmower that your dad gives you and you kind of run around in the yard with it. It's really lightweight, it's very easy to push. It kind of reminds me of a grown up version of that. Very lightweight, easy to push, simple to use. Uh, makes mowing pretty easy, really. Uh, there's actually not a lot of work in it. Uh, both of my kids like using it and even my wife likes using it. So it's been a pretty good machine. We're happy with it so far. At this stage, I definitely recommend it. Uh, I'll keep posting as time goes forward and let everybody know if I run into any problems but so far this summer no issues with it we mow about twice a week once twice a week and I mow the big long nasty stuff out in the field uh, trim that up maybe once a month so used it twice to trim up the big stuff out in the field and then used it I don't know how many times for the lawn it's a good machine thus far we like it thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe below